breathing in dust while using a cutting disc to cut through concrete could result in which of the following diseases? Silicosis, leptospirosis, legionnaires, asbestosis. When working with materials creating dust, what should be monitored? The direction in which the dust travels, the smell the dust creates, the level of exposure to the dust, the colour of dust. What does a hot work permit allow you to do? Work below ground in a confined space. Work in warm weather. Carry out work that could start a fire. Carry out work that needs warm protective clothing. What two things should you do to reduce trips and injuries caused by untidy leads and extension cables? Keep trailing cables and leads close to the wall. Only use thinner 230 volt extension cables. Run cables and leads above head height and over the top of doorways and walkways. Which one of the following statements is true of a person who has fallen and is suspended in a fall arrest harness? They will need to be rescued quickly. They will be safe in the harness for over an hour. There will be no reason to call an ambulance. They should be left to rescue themselves. What is the best way to make sure that a ladder is secure and will not slip? Secure it at the bottom. Secure it at the top. Wedge the bottom of the ladder with blocks of wood. Ask someone to stand with their foot on the bottom. How can everyone on site help keep rats away? Put all food and drink rubbish into bins provided. Put rat traps and poison around the site. Throw food scraps over the fence or hoarding. Ask the local authority to put down rat poison. An excavator has just stopped work. Liquid is dripping and forming a small pool under the back of the machine. What could this mean? Someone put too much diesel into the machine before it started work. The machine is hot, so the diesel has expanded and overflowed. The machine has a leak and could be unsafe. It is normal for fluids to vent after the machine stops. Identify which of the following is best suited for accessing an excavation. A step ladder, a secured ladder, a cherry picker, a harness and pulley. Before you enter a construction site, what actions must be in place? The health and safety officer must have given you permission. Your site supervisor must have given you permission. You must have a trade skill to be allowed to enter. You must be authorised and given a site induction. If someone is using a petrol cut-off saw, disc cutter, to cut concrete blocks near to pedestrians, what two immediate hazards will affect the pedestrians? Contact dermatitis, flying fragments, vibration white finger, an electric shock, harmful dust. Which of the following could ignite flammable vapours? Select two answers. Oxygen. Water, naked flame, sparks, carbon dioxide. 
Why is overexposure to vibratory tools and equipment a serious issue? There is no way that exposure to vibration can be prevented. Vibration can cause disabling health conditions that cannot be cured. There are no early warning signs of damage caused by vibration. The long term effects of vibration are not known. What is the main issue with using barrier cream to protect your skin? It costs too much to use every day. It can irritate your skin and give you dermatitis. It can be broken down by some substances. It is difficult to wash off. What can cause occupational dermatitis? Contact with another person who has dermatitis. Working in the sun without sun cream. Using tools that vibrate. Contact with some strong chemicals or substances. What other illness can be easily confused with the early signs of Viles disease, leptospirosis? Hey, what other illness can be easily confused with the early signs of Viles disease, leptospirosis? Hay fever, diabetes, dermatitis, influenza, flu. Which statement about mental health is true? It can have no obvious cause. It is always caused by stress. It is never caused by stress. It always has an obvious cause. What should you do if you need to carry a load down a steep slope? Put the load down and let gravity move it down the slope. Carry the load on your shoulder. Walk backwards down the slope to help you balance. Assess whether you can still carry the load safely. You are about to start a job. How will you know if you need a permit to work? Other workers on site will pass them on after they have finished with them. Permits to work are only required by managers on large sites. Information will be given during the site induction before any work starts. The Health and Safety Executive, HSE, will give them out. Which of the following statements about gas leaking from a liquefied petroleum gas LPG cylinder is true? It's not a problem if a risk assessment has been carried out beforehand. It is only dangerous if there is a heat source very close to the cylinder. Any leak will always cause a fire and evacuation should be immediate. It can catch fire at some distance from the original leak and flash back to the source. How do residual current devices, RCDs, work? By showing a flashing light, giving an audible warning, by cutting power quickly if there is a fault, by storing electric charge. 
To reduce the risk of overturning, how should vehicles be loaded? Ensure the load is evenly distributed in the body of the vehicle. Ensure the content of the load weighs less than one ton. Make sure the vehicle is loaded to the maximum allowance. Make sure the load is tied securely to the vehicle. When working at height in a mobile elevating work platform, MEWP, over or near to deep water, which item of personal protective equipment, PPE, should be worn? Full body harness, Wellington boots, life jacket, full face, a material that may hide fragile surfaces has been applied to a roof. What action should be taken? Nothing. Workers should know to be careful. Nothing. The material applied should be fine. The fragile areas should be clearly marked and protected. The fragile areas should be... How can a worker check if a substance is hazardous to health? All hazardous substances have a large warning label on them. If it is, the hazards should be shown in a COSH risk assessment. Ask the site manager for their opinion. Smell the substance as odourless substances are safe. Which of the following tasks could place a worker at the greatest risk of lead poisoning if control measures were not put in place? Plastering a ceiling in a new-build home. Cutting timber in a roof construction. Sanding down some old paintwork. Building a wall out of old stone.